This is that Hiwat DR103 from a couple of weeks back. Got the new replacement tube. The vendor was great. Everything's been running great. I've been testing it a while. I just set the bias at about 65% with 120 volts coming out of the wall. Gives a little bit of wiggle room should the wall voltage increase, wall voltage decrease. It's sounding really good again, and it's been running for about two hours now um, without any issues with the replaced tube. Uh, if you don't haven't seen the previous video, one of the tubes was leaking voltage at its grid, which was not a good thing for the bias on that side through the entire bias supply off. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to let this run probably another 10 to 12 hours before I call it 100% you know, trustworthy to go back to the owner because it's a, it's a good long drive for, for the owner. Uh, but uh, all signs point to good. Here are some high watt DR103 sounds for you, just real fast. <laughs> All mistakes are free. I usually don't use any pedals with the amps on the channel because it's important what the amp sounds like, not what the pedals sound like. But in this case, I pretty much have to, so humor me. Rusty as hell, but I love that chord. So as you can hear, uh, despite the fact that I'm playing stuff that I dimly remember, I, I you know, I don't have time to work up tunes for the channel. It's just stuff in my rusty grab bag of tricks. But the amp is doing that high watt thing pretty well. And uh, if I had time and uh, knew that I would remember the parts well, I'd turn on some chorus and delay and a big muff and all that fun stuff. But this is the amp channel, not the Pink Floyd cover band channel. So I think we'll just leave it there. If my neighbors weren't home, by which I mean pretty much all the neighbors in a two block radius, I could try some live at Leeds stuff. But I also uh, actually do need my hearing for this job, so we'll leave it at that. I'm going to let this run with the looper pedal into a dummy load for a good long while, and I'll monitor it from time to time, and I'll have it up on a scope uh, to make sure that nothing is going crazy in my, uh, you know, while I'm working on other things. But when an amp is this loud, this valuable, and has this high a B plus, I think it's good for me to really keep an eye on it do a, a pretty thorough burn in before I just say, here, here's your amp back. Hope it works. So we shall see. Uh, I doubt that I'll have any problems at this point. If I do, there'll be a second video on this third video on this amp, I guess. But I imagine this will be going home soon. So this is probably the last we'll see and hear of her. Beautiful, beautiful amp. And as always, thanks for watching.